I think we all know that the media is the enemy of the people, and they continue to prove it, uh, especially with this article right here. Uh, this is insane. These people are despicable and disgusting. So, Deadspin here is trying to cancel this kid uh, who is a Kansas City Chiefs fan because he dared to dress up as them. Uh, he, dis he wore... He half of his face was black, half of his face was red. He had a headdress on, and that makes him racist, this little kid. And they're trying to ruin his life over this, paint him as a racist. You know, you know how it goes. <laughs> These people are fucking despicable, man. Uh, so let's take a look at some of this article here. The NFL needs to speak out against the Kansas City Chiefs fan in blackface and native headdress. They're doubling up on the racism. Are you going to say anything, Roger Goodell? Well, if he had any balls, he'd say, uh, go fuck yourselves, mind your own business, and enjoy the game. But <laughs> I don't see that happening, probably. Uh, it takes a lot to disrespect two groups of people at once. But on Sunday, or uh, Sunday afternoon in Las Vegas, a Kansas City Chiefs fan found a way to hate black people and the Native Americans at the same time. How was he hateful? What did he do? How was this hateful? <laughs> Holy shit. He just wore some paint on his face and was supporting his, I assume, favorite team. This is absurd. Okay, you people are fucking insane. <laughs> like, holy shit. Uh, the image of a Chiefs fan in blackface wearing a native headdress during a road game leads to so many unanswered questions. Why did the camera person give this fan the attention? I don't know, maybe they just saw a little kid who was, uh, you know, decked out, looking super fucking cool, uh, cheering on and supporting his team. Maybe that was it. Or maybe they wanted to smear him and make him out to be some type of a fucking racist. To ruin his life. Because you people are pathetic. Why did the producer allow that camera angle to be aired at all? Again. Uh, either one. Either one, I guess. Is that a fan? Is, is that fan a kid slash teenager or a young adult? Well, he appears to be a, a child. And either way, if it was a young adult, why would that matter either? Despite their age, who taught that person what they were wearing was appropriate? Nobody cares. Uh, these are the same people that'll cry about you wearing a sombrero All right, for Halloween. These people are just <laughs> complete lunatics. This is pathetic. And trying to cancel this kid and ruin his life over this. It's so fucked up. I mean, they trying to make him out to be like the next uh, Nick Nick Sandman, you know, the Covington kids, where the the, the meth head uh, Nathan Phillips was banging the drum in his face, and the media tried to smear Nick Sandman as the bad guy. Go fuck yourselves. I mean, it, it just goes on to black blah 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 racism and in football and. Taking a stand against and racism and racism. Yeah, as you constantly uh, talk about how bad white people are, that's not gonna. <laughs> it seems. Uh, doesn't seem like the right approach. <laughs> like it's, it's all so fucking stupid. But Deadspin is getting absolutely roasted for this, and rightfully so. But I actually think they deleted the tweet. I wish I still had this up. I wish I had it up, because that's what I pulled it up from. It was... Uh, let's, let's... Okay, I'll refresh again. Refresh. Let's take a look through their timeline and see if the story is still up. So this is from two hours ago. Sport... Nope, that's not it. Uh, that's not it. Let's keep going. And this story was from, like, today or yesterday. 
Oh, we're already at November 26th. Texas A&M stoops. Nip, nip, not it. Not it. Where is the tweet? It was just up here before I started recording. And they tweeted that out. That's how I found out about this was on Twitter. And you clicked on the link. That's what brought up this article. And it's gone. And it's gone. <laughs> Man, I fucking wish I still had it. It was glorious. People just roasting them, calling them, you know, uh, just racist. They're, they're just hating on this kid for just a white kid for putting a, uh, you know, putting on black face and red face and claiming that he hates black people and Native Americans. It's insane. This kid was just enjoying himself, just celebrating his team, and they're trying to smear him as a racist, trying to make him out to be some terrible person. It's absolutely despicable. Uh, I, oh, man, I wish they didn't delete that. Because I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. Scrolling down. Wait, wait. Is this it? Is this it? Oh, is it back? Holy shit. What the fuck? Why, why is everything so discombobulated? <laughs> I don't know. But here we go. Okay. We got it. We got it. The NFL needs to speak out against the Kansas City Chiefs fan in blackface and native headdress. Let's go through these comments. <laughs> Here's Salty Cracker. Black people are out here shooting each other by the dozens every weekend in Chicago, but let's focus on this. Uh, shame on you trying to ruin a young child's life. Hope he sues you for defamation. Shout out to Libs of TikTok as well. Uh, you weren't bullied enough as a kid. <laughs> Seethe, uh, this kid owns you now. Let that sink in. If you're triggered by the way this young man dressed up at the Kansas City Chiefs game, seek help. You have a mental disorder. Absolutely. Absolutely. fucking lutely Oh, dude, it's great. They are getting roasted. The media is really trying to smear a child over this. The author of this piece is uh, whoever, whatever. Don't care about your name. What a bully. Shame on you. How they soon forget. Yep. This is, yep, Nick Sandman and Nathan Phillips. Exactly. That's the same kind of energy. Uh, no one was in blackface, you fucking little bitch losers. <laughs> Dude, they're getting roasted. And it's glorious to see. 351 likes. 749 retweets. 6.4 thousand tweets at them. <laughs> Those comments getting absolutely destroyed and i love it i love to see it i hope i wish this kid the best i hope this doesn't have any long lasting negative effects on him in his life because he absolutely doesn't deserve this um the media uh dead spin uh especially uh go fuck yourselves how about that you know i don't know I guess that's about it. Let me know what you guys think about all of this fucking nonsense in the comments. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will talk to you later.